So if I was going to do the reference angle of negative 480, guys, the way that I told you to do is to sketch the angle. Well, now we're going in the negative direction, right? So we know all the way around a circle. Well, first of all, we know the negative direction is clockwise, right? So we know all the way around a circle. Well, that would be negative 360 degrees. And then to get to negative 480, I need to do another negative um, 120, right? 360 to 480? Yeah. So 120, something like that. So that would be my n term. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to do the mathematics, if you're saying you're in quadrant three now, all right, you can't just take your angle and subtract it from 180, 180 degrees. What we have to do is we need to find the positive, the smallest positive coterminal angle. So when you do reference angles, when you're writing this down, when you do reference angles, use the smallest positive coterminal angle. So how do you find the coterminal angle for this? You add 360, right? You guys remember you can add or subtract? Well, we don't want to subtract. That's just going to give us a bigger negative number. So we add 360. By adding 360, I now have negative 120. Is that positive yet? No. So you add 360 again. And what do you have? 200 and? 40. Yes? So now it's in the third, third quadrant. So I can say theta prime equals my theta, theta minus 180 degrees. Well, my theta is 240. Theta prime equals 240 minus 180. So therefore, my, co my, my reference angle is that angle right there, which is 60 degrees. OK? Anybody have any questions? So make sure you guys are using coterminal angles. That's what everybody forgets. Um, 